right, so basically we're protesting because Bruce Rauner has invited a bunch of elite, very powerful people to have dinner on our tax money while he still hasn't solved the budget crisis. For As the months go by without state politicians agreeing to compromise on a budget, time is running out. Illinois is facing the longest budget impasse in its history. These irresponsible actions by legislators, and more specifically, Rauner, will leave a permanent impression on those most vulnerable in our society. No! This is most obvious in the way poor and working class communities have been disproportionately affected by Springfield's mismanagement. A few weeks ago, Chicago State University, which receives about a third of its budget from the state, sent potential layoff notices to all 900 of its employees. No! The university also canceled spring break and moved up the end of the semester in order to save money. This, certainly this budget impasse has really affected all the people at Chicago State, uh, especially the students. Um, it's hard enough for them to focus on schoolwork. Uh, now they're thinking about whether, you know, we're going to be able to make it through. Um, I think all of us are really committed to, uh, to keeping on going. Our, our school is, we're celebrating our 150th uh, anniversary next year. And uh, there's a lot of pride in our school. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been hard for a lot of people to kind of stay focused. I am hoping we are not closing down. We're, we're committed to staying open. Um, I don't know what's going to happen, uh, but I mean, I think what a lot of us are feeling is that the politicians have just sort of let us down, and um, it's, it's, it's becoming harder and harder to be hopeful, I think. Um, um, it almost seems like we're being used uh, in this kind of political game that folks are playing. and. Uh, yeah, there's just a lack of hope and, and really people feeling that there's a lack of leadership. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm kind of seeing at my school. Chicago State University students and surrounding community are majority African American. Is it any surprise that the predominantly black university is the most impacted? No! no. Not at all. NEIU is a Hispanic serving institution. Who do you think is next? We are! Just alone in the state of Illinois, over 51% of the fast food workers all rely on public assistance, including myself. Meanwhile, corporations like McDonald's, through two, yeah, boo them, through tax loopholes, smuggle over $200 billion overseas. What could have this money been spent on? We're basically funding our own public assistance, and even worse, this is being cut. Class uh, programs are being cut. Public health care. What is going on here in Illinois is what we're all asking. We're demanding a change is what we're asking. We're demanding fairness, fair taxation in Illinois. This is something Romner can easily give to us. Rahm Emanuel, Romner, any of them. But they won't. And why is that? Well, we're here to change that today. And we're here to show them this, that we may not run America, but we make America run. The budget impasse in, in Springfield is impacted northeastern Illinois students in that they are afraid. They are, their MAP grants are under fire, they haven't received their MAP grants, and so they're afraid that they are not going to be able to graduate. Their education is being I, I taken don't. hostage, um, and I, I think so we we're out here, you know, on behalf of all students at Northeastern as well as all universities in the state of Illinois. I, I believe that we have had a lot of really good bills on the floor that have died on the floor because of um, Browner's refusal to work, you know, to come together, vetoing 2043. I know that there are other things, other bills coming forward 
that have some promise, but we need to come together. We need to realize that this is a bigger issue than Republican and Democrat. We need to realize that our students have a right to education and we need to move forward. Our governor, our legislature yeah. needs to move forward so that we, our students can have access to the education that they need. continues in Illinois, House lawmakers are taking a month-long break, and Rauner is having a fancy-ass dinner with guests who paid up to $40,000 a ticket, while we get furloughed and layoff notices. Oh, so one of the reasons why I made the sign is, uh, you know, I think Ted Cruz is one of the reasons signs is Ted Crook. You know, he did the whole filibuster thing in 2013. He denied federal funding for places like Flint and relief for Hurricane Sandy. Uh, Bruce Rauner is obviously a big reason why we're out here today. Um, he's pretty much taken the whole state hostage for state funding for schools, police, and all, all things like that. So I thought it was uh, pretty clever to tie up the state of Illinois with that. So. Some of our people are going to be laid off as early as April 30th. Uh, many of us then, uh, particularly the, the faculty, August 15th, and we don't know if we're going to be called back for the fall. You know, not in public education, but I'm a child of the 60s, and I remember 1968 very well uh, when we had our uh, police riot here during the Democratic Convention. Well, I, you know, I hope it doesn't come to something like that, but. Again, as I think about it, you know, the only time people paid attention to what was going on, uh, particularly with uh, segregation everything, and civil rights was when they burned down the west side, and then all of a sudden people got focused on it. Yeah. 
Yes. Right now. Well, 